Greetings and welcome to all of our Apollo Nauts to another mission update from Apollo, the ultimate all-in-one privacy coin. My name's Colin Stone, I'm also known as your host, the Blockchain Braveheart, and to those that have been trekking with us from the very beginning, and to those jumping on board for the first time today, we especially want to know who you are. Please let us know in the comments below. We've got some crypto news on the way, but first, if you've been keeping an eye on the crypto market generally over the last couple months or so, you'll have seen an uptick in most of the big players. Bitcoin, the granddaddy of them all, has doubled in value from the $4,000 mark early in 2019. It's now sitting pretty around 9k. Of course, that's still less than half of its 2017 peak, but according to experts, that peak was down to hysteria and momentum. But back to the present day and what looks like a slow burn bull run. Although crypto enthusiasts, Apollonauts alike, have longed for a booming market, it seems like this bull run has happened because of mass adoption by global corporations. Now, although I even feel slimy just saying that, hear me out. Those outside the market, shareholders and investors, they were waiting to see when the big guns, the likes of JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs, would start getting involved in crypto. And that's happening now. Just over a week ago, AT&T announced the first step in accepting Bitcoin payments. Facebook has been working on their own secretive digital coin project for months. And even Nike are rumored to be testing the waters. Cryptos with real world use cases are beginning to excite those dipping their toes into the markets. Yes, I can rhyme. And this is where Apollo comes in. You could take say 15 different cryptos and their real world use cases and then do the exact same things with just one, R1. Let that sink in while I remind you of some of our real life capabilities. There's ID verification for a start, as well as mobile payments, real estate, voting and insurance. But then you've got more unexpected potential use cases like border control, energy supply distribution, and even censorship resistant journalism. So yeah, welcome to the industry, JP Morgan and Mark Zuckerberg, but just because you've got the billions, doesn't mean you're anywhere near our level. Crypto news, and by now, most of us are used to governments telling us what we should be doing, or even better, telling us what we are doing. This week, it's the turn of a US Congress think tank, who in today's article from Yahoo Finance, tell us we're using cryptocurrency as an investment vehicle, rather than as payment for goods. Now, while investing is part of our industry, obviously the Apollo marketplace and all the stores you can currently spend any crypto would heavily disagree with the original statement from Congress. See what you make of it yourself by giving the article a quick read. That is all from Apollo for today, but of course, if you want to find out more right now, then we are all over social media in all the usual places you would expect. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.